guys? Today's just going to be a really quick video on how to do an oil change on a W164. Um, in this case, it's the ML63 AMG. As you can see here, I'm going to be using 5W40 oil, the ML63 with the uh, 6.3 or technically 6.2 liter V8 takes 10 quarts or I think like 10.7 liters, um, something like that. And then I also have here a new drain plug and crush washer. And I'll be using this Hanks filter. Um, here you can see the model number. There are a bunch of brands that also work for this vehicle. And as you can see, I already have the car on ramps. I'll be lifting the rear of the vehicle so that it's at least level, so the oil can drain completely out of the pan. And then we'll go from there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is removing this plastic shield. And there's just a couple of 10 millimeter bolts um, spread out around here. Mine is missing some. Um, but basically you just have to undo a handful of these and then this whole plastic shield will come down and that'll give us access to the oil pan and the drain plug. And just like that, mine only had five bolts. I'm holding it in. And then this whole piece drops down and you're able to access the drain plug and the oil pan. All right, the next thing we're gonna need is a drain bucket to catch all the oil. And then you also need a 13 millimeter uh, socket to put on the drain bolt. To access the oil fill cap, you'll first have to remove the plastic covering here, which can sometimes be a little bit stubborn, but this should move right out of the way and give you access right here to where the oil goes. And sometimes it helps to crack this open so the air can escape and that'll help the oil drain when you undo the drain bolt down below. So you wanna crack that loose with a 13 millimeter and then once it's loose, you can loosen it the rest of the way by hand. Make sure your bucket is ready. And since my oil is still kind of hot, I'm gonna be using a rag over my hand just so that the hot oil doesn't burn my hand. Let the old oil drain and make sure to have another container ready if your original container is not large enough to hold the amount of oil coming out. And once you've cracked that loose with a wrench, go ahead and unscrew it the rest of the way and get ready with a rag as oil may start to come out when you lift it off. And there you go. That's why you want to have a rag ready to catch any drips that might come off. All right, so the new filter comes with another O-ring, which you do want to put on right up here. And then otherwise, the old filter should just pop right off if you pull. Just like that. And there's a clip here that this new filter also has. To remove the O-ring from the uh, filter housing, just get a pick in there or a flathead screwdriver and gently slide it off. Try not to have it fall down inside your vehicle like mine just did. And then to get the new filter on, you're just gonna place one side down here and use both hands or both fingers to keep it steady. And then with the other hand, slide it over the edge like that and then work it all the way down until it seats in the groove right here at the base. Then to install the new filter all you're going to do is place the prong side into the housing or the cap until it clicks just like that and then some people recommend kind of drizzling some oil in the filter and in the cap so that when you first start the engine um, oil doesn't have to circulate all the way through the filter um, and it's, it's less of a dry start. So it's up to you to decide how long you want to let the oil drain. For me, it's been a maybe 15 minutes and uh, it's just a really slow trickle right now. And that's good enough for me. I don't want to spend, you know, all day waiting for this to drain entirely. So to install the new drain plug, all you're going to do is slip the copper washer over the uh, threads. Make sure that the old copper washer is not stuck to the uh, pan, because that sometimes happens. And assuming that it's not, you can just insert the new bolt with the washer, 
thread it all the way by hand first. And then once it's snug, go ahead and use your wrench or your socket to tighten it on. I don't use a torque wrench. It's just firm, but not, you don't want to crank on it too hard because the uh, aluminum uh, threads of the pan might strip. So just enough to put pressure on that crush washer and you're good to go. All right, now that our drain plug is reinstalled, you want to get your oil open. It might be helpful to use a funnel. Um, in this case, I'm just going to go for it. Um, you can kind of see it here. This is where the oil goes. So when you're done with the oil, what I like to do is put it back in the empty container. Uh, this time I will be using a funnel because it can get messy. And then this is also a good way to see how much oil you've taken out if your containers don't already have measuring um, lines on them. 